everybody. Welcome back to the Claremont Classic Garage. It's a beautiful, beautiful early fall day or late summer day. I don't know. Whatever you want to call it. It's the third Saturday in September. Um, I've caught wind that there's a car show down in the city at the, at the dealership where I buy my cars from. So we're going to go check it out. Uh, hanging around at car dealerships is something I haven't been really able to do the last couple of years with COVID and everything. And I, it's something I do enjoy doing. I, I love the car dealership. I mean, all of these cars came from the dealership. Can you imagine hanging around at the car dealership in 1969 when their lot was full of cars like this? Anyway, the Chrysler dealer still has some pretty cool stuff in 2021, I'll have to admit. So we're going to take a run down there and, and, and see what we see. We got the old 69 Dart. Oh, sorry. GTS even I call it a dart but it doesn't bother me people call it a dart a swinger I know what it is it's an it's a 69 dart that doesn't say dart it's a GTS I don't get too wound up about it like some of the SRT4 guys do when you call their cars neons <laughs> anyway uh, and if I had one I'd be the first to admit yeah it's a glitzed up neon anyway uh, I'll see you when we get down there well, we made it here out of the dealership, and usually it's just like a bunch of Challengers and Chargers and 300, 300s here, but uh, there's actually a lot of old cars here, so this is cool. There's rat rods, there's everything. So I'll hop out and have a look around, eh? Start here at this nice 73 Duster. I like the color. It looks good with the black stripes and hood. It says it's a 318 car from Hamtramck. It says 340 now. Pretty cool. Once the Mustang boys showed up. Something about those trunk LXs, man. Wow. But they're all nice. Even that one, that the new style one on the end. Gorgeous. What a nice car. A lot bigger than the old Foxes, eh? Or it's just the way they're styled, they seem bigger. Uh, no, I'd say it's bigger. Mustangs have a habit of that. They keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and then all of a sudden, one year, whack, they get small again. We'll wait for that to happen. But it still looks good. It takes a big body to fit them great big tires under, eh? Import cars are cool, too. I don't even know what it is. I don't know anything about these, but some of these put a whole lot of time and work into this. It's got TVs in the headrests. Love the paint, it's speckly. Oh wow, look at all that. Pretty awesome, eh? I don't have the imagination to do stuff like this. These guys are pretty talented, some of them. Gotta love that, nice 300. Edelbrock E4 Supercharger. Bet you that perks it up. Nice car, eh? 300S. Beautiful. Jeeps and Durangos. Something here for everybody. SRT Durango. Supercharged Hemi. Oh boy. Wow, this thing must fly. Look at this cyclone. Wow. Four speed. Oh, wow. Cyclone spoiler. 429. Awesome. Wow, what a car. Lots of nice new trucks and Jeeps back here, eh? Wow. So I'm a little nervous coming around the car dealership because I usually end up buying something. <laughs> These are nice, these Warlocks. A couple of my buddies have them. There's a couple just pulling in, a 71 Challenger. And I don't know what it is behind it. Oh, and a C8 Corvette. They've always got a few exotic cars here for sale, I think. I don't know, is this a Lamborghini? That's a Ferrari. They sure are nice, whatever the heck they are. It's Eleanor Mustang. I guess that's what it is at Eleanor. It sure is pretty. 
couple of rat rod pickups. We parked beside that one last week at the Stovall car show. Here's something you don't see, an S10 with an eight foot box. <laughs> V8. Yeah, this was available when they first came out. You could get them with a long box. Yeah, it's got the air ride, all those compressors and tanks and stuff. Pretty cool. A lot of thought goes into that. My obligatory GTS shot. Nice 68 Camaro with a big block in it. Air conditioning too. Cool. Disc brakes. Horseshoe shifter. Look at all the gauges in the console. These were really nice, eh? Big buns on the back. A couple of Zeds. Seems to be a lot of blue Camaros here today. Okay, how does he keep those headers orange like that? That's impressive. I like that. Ceramic coated or something. Look at the inside of this. Isn't that nice? Four speed. Tack. Wow. Oh, that's a Z28, right? Yeah, it's a Z. That's really nice. Say hello to the drone. Wave. <laughs> nice Chevelle with the, the new style wheels that look like old style wheels. I like that. Not a four speed, a five speed. That's pretty cool. I would, I would lift it, walk right back on. Big block with aluminum heads. Wow. 69Z here. Another four speed, very nice. Looks like he's been at the drags. Wow. Those were the days, man. These Mustangs are all really nice. Kind of like this black one. It sort of reminds me of the California Highway Patrol ones. Remember those? And what's a car show without a Westie? The original conversion van. <laughs> These things make me smile anytime I see one. So much fun. It's an interesting tidbit. Guys doing 69 GTSs. Um, and I guess other 69 darts, depending on the trim level, are always looking for these narrow these narrow rocker moldings and of course there's there's none around but 69 Camaros like the Z here used basically the same the same molding and I think it is tiny bit different I think there may be a screw hole at each end of it underneath yeah there is but aside from that it's just about the right length and it's the closest thing you'll find for a, a 69 dart and I'm pretty sure you can buy these um, uh, a reproduction so that's what a lot of guys end up having to use on their 69 darts mine still got the original ones on it by the good grace of God they, they never turned to yeah, they're aluminum they turned to white powder you know so I'm not knocking the guys that have to use these it's any port in a storm sometimes huh, even quite a few motorcycles showed up and um, I don't know what you call the things with three wheels are they a motorcycle not a motorcycle I, I don't know but they're they're interesting some people like them Jeep guys are out in full force. These Gladiator pickups, I don't know, I'm not 100% sold on them, but when they boost them up and put some big wheels on them, they sure look a lot better to me. I like that. Looks very um, uh, military-ish. And there's a Ram TRX. It's got the, I guess it's a Rebel. It's with a Hellcat motor or something. And it's you know, Chrysler's answer to the, the Raptor. Across the road here at the Ford dealer, here's a nice new Bronco. Looks kind of like, uh, you know, those little Range Rovers. That'd be a nice little car to drive. Probably get you through what you need to get through. 
wonder if you can get it with a stick shift. I doubt it. You can't get anything with a stick shift anymore. Sad, isn't it? Look at this caddy. Wow. Ah, it's long and low, man. And straight as a pin. Holy Toledo. She's nice. Got a little nice caddy. That's something you don't see every day. Oh, McLaren. Wow. Pretty neat. Guess the engine's in the back. Yeah. And beside it here is a Lamborghini. Don't drop your phone, Kevin. Wow. These must be a couple of fun cars to drive. That Pontiac is nice too, eh? I don't know how I walked by that so many times without taking a picture of it. Looks like it's ready for Daytona just sitting there. How about this T-Bird, eh? Wow, is that ever nice? My guess, is, I think it's a 62, 63 maybe. These things are so nice. Got the tilt away, tilt away steering column. I love how the dash just kind of curves around into the door panels and then it sort of curves back around into the back seat. It's a great big huge car, but it only holds four people. It's a personal luxury coupe. Wow. Love these old T-Birds. Looks nice with those meats on it too, eh? I never liked the modern wheels on the older cars, but I have to say they're starting to warm. They're starting to warm up to me, or I'm warming up to them. It does look sharp. All right, I guess that's about it for this. We had a good time at the car show. I, I gotta get home, Deb needs help with the puppies, and I gotta cut the grass. See you when we're back at the farm. Well, I'm back home now, back to the chaos. The puppies trying to eat my shoes while they're still on my feet. I'm going to see if I can get outside now and go put the car away. Anyway, uh, oh, that's good. Thanks for tuning in and watching my car show video. And uh, I guess that's it till next time. See you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>